So Yaskawa just sent me the new Sigma 7 single axis control demo and it arrived. Let's check it out together, ready? So right off the bat you can see that this demo kit is equipped, or enclosed rather, with a Pelican hard shell case which can then be put in the trunk of your car or in the back of a truck and uh, taken to many different customers. When you open it, you'll notice of course the Yaskawa logo at the top, but we have the Smart Panel 7 inch HMI which is right now running a small program just showing and modifying different pages right now. Uh, the breakout is for a USB port and then also an Ethernet port that can be connected. But uh, literally your machine uh, could be run all from the HMI panel which is connected to all these goodies here. So let's start with the amplifier or the servo pack. This is a Sigma 7 series with main power and control power on the left hand side, UVW connection for your servo motor, IO connector which breaks out the three uh, general purpose outputs as well as the alarm output, and then seven inputs as well from this one connector here. Move on down to the CN8 connector which basically mimics, mimics a, a, an emergency stop here. If you notice, the seven segment display goes to an HBB, hardware base block, cuts power off from there. And that is actually cutting power to the motor, making uh, use of the safe, safe torque off, or STO circuit. This is the connector for the encoder resolution at the back of the Sigma 7 series servo motor, which is right here. Nameplate you can find is on the side here, upside down. It's a 24-bit encoder, which means 16 million pulses for one revolution at the motor. In the front connected here are two inertia flywheel discs, which mimics a low to motor inertia ratio of 30 to 1. <clears throat> Move on down, we've got more inputs and a master, we've got, well, we've got an analog input, master encoder, as well as some selecting switches here for the latch. If you go over to the right hand side, you've got the MP2600 IEC controller, which is the single axis control portion of it. Slapped onto the side, you now have a full motion controller uh, application here. Two Ethernet ports, one connector that actually branches out to give us one analog input, also an analog output, master encoder, and then the connections down here for taking that master encoder or even the encoder pulses from the motor out to uh, some other form of control or PLC. Let's not forget that there is also a USB, what we call the uh, dongle, uh, USB MotionWorks IEC software floating license key. That is equipped also in this demo. And then, as backup, the USB connect the programs that run the HMI, as well as the single axis MP2600 control. I forgot to mention that the connector that, that is here actually breaks out eight digital inputs, eight digital outputs that are not shown in this demo. However, the analog input is shown as well as the master encoder. We also have an analog output that can be utilized from this connector as well. So that is the Sigma 7 single axis control demo. If you would, please subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and if you have any comments on this video about where this product can bridge the gap between where machines are now and where they need to be, please comment below. We'd love to hear your response. Thanks, and have a good day.